Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. Now today we're going to be talking about this Nightfall Cup team I've been running with a ridiculously high win rate. This team has won me first place in almost every Night Cup tournament I have entered. This team has all of the meta checkpoints. You have your G-Fisk Frostlass Court. We have our Grass type damage. Confusion user for the anti-fighter. We have our counter using fighter. And then Swampert for a little extra pressure on the G-Fisk. I have tried a few different versions of this team, trying to add in Charmers in place of Swampert. However, Charmers just do not fit into this play style. They farm something down, they use a shield, and then they throw their energy at something, and then they get farmed down, doing as much damage as they can on the way out, but it does not bode well for this team comp. The way this team likes to play is that your lead wants to be able to grab a shield and then go down. We don't need to win the lead, but we do, if we do have to switch, we do need to win switch advantage but the lead is less important. The goal of our lead is simply to grab shield advantage, as that is primarily how this team is going to win. Once our lead goes down, whatever Pokemon is best suited against their team, generally between Frostlass, Venusaur, Medichan, and Swampert, will come in, farm down the enemy's lead with that shield advantage, and now with also an energy advantage, that Pokemon is usually unstoppable, the third Pokemon we're going to choose for each line is generally something that can just absorb pressure, absorb that energy, reset the opponent's energy, reset the switch timer, and generally just stall out to make sure that when our sweeper comes back in, they can fully exploit the energy and shield advantage that we gave them after our lead went down. A quick recap on this team. Shield and energy management is everything for this team, so oftentimes we're not trying to win the lead, but just grab a shield and then absorb their energy to let our lead go down. The next Pokemon we're choosing is something that, with that energy advantage, can pressure everything on the opponent's team. And our third Pokemon is going to be there to help just absorb some energy to reset some of our opponent's Pokemon and possibly wait out the switch clock if need be. Switch advantage isn't so important for this team. However, if we do hard lose the lead, for example, Gallade into a Wigglytuff, then we will need to try and guarantee that we can win the swap. So Frostlass is a very strong safe swap if we do lose that lead. I'm going to go ahead and send it on over to the battles now. This was taken from a live stream I did, and so you can see me breaking down each matchup, breaking down the team comp, and explaining all of my decisions in real time as the battle is happening. I hope the live battle analysis will help you guys prepare for your Nightfall Cups, as we'll be showing the strengths and weaknesses throughout the meta. Enjoy! Alright, so Glade beats everything except for Noctowl. So I have to decide, is he going to lead Noctowl? Um, what else is good? Uh, G-Fisk, that is a Shadow Gloom and Shadow Glade. He kept leading Glade against me last time. I think I have to lead Glade for the Mirror. I could swap to Medichan, I think is my best safe swap, because he has to answer that with Glade, okay. So he has no Charmer, so might be doing Double Fighter. And if he does do that, then I get the move off first. He's gonna take my sh he's not gonna take my shield. I'm gonna... Uh... It's not Noctowl and it's not Golade, so let's... How bad does this hurt? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> so... <laughs> Weather Ball. Oh, that hurts. I should have double stacked this. Oh, well, maybe not actually. I think maybe this was the right way to do it because that lets my confusion go through while he throws a move. He's gonna shield that one. I'm gonna get the, ooh, he tried to farm down. Either that or I really actually did play that correctly. Who knows? Okay, all right, perfect, perfect. Zero shields. I have two shields. I have a frost loss. Oh, this turns into straight energy for Medichan. Even if he has a Razor Leafer, the Shadow Razor Leafer loses because I have. I let this through. There's this thing doesn't get like dazzling gleam, right? Like nothing weird. Ice beam. Okay, that thing does a lot of damage. I will admit. All right, who is it? Send me. Shadow Gallade pretty much gets one shot here. Frostlass is going to take a lot of hits, but that means he has Gallade in the back. Frostlass to farm it down. All right, perfect. Frostlass, two, two shields and energy, and there's the G-Fisk. 
If G-Fisk had one shield, it would be close. And that that just makes me mad, the fact that G-Fisk can make this so close. Rock slime, we need to double stack. Uh, I think we're actually one short. I think we're one powder short, powder snow short. Because the animation is a circle, doesn't show up great. All right. So we've shown that we are not afraid to run this team. So I would expect Glade to be the lead next. Because, I mean, again, my team has the Glade weakness, so I have to lead Glade. So I'm expecting him to either go Glade or Noctowl in the lead. Let's try my Stunfisk lead, actually. Because if he leads Shadow Glade, and I hit it with a Rock Slide, and then he throws a move at me, even if he throws immediate close combat or whatever, and it one shots me, that leaves him either he either I farm him up or he gives me switch advantage and shield advantage. And I get to farm something. So let's hope that he goes for knock towel or glade. Remember last time we played this team we did a lot of glade mirrors? Pretty much every tournament I play, I have to do a lot of Glade Mirrors because that is how my team works. But again, rather be weak to Glade than Stunfisk. There it is. And I don't even have Glade on my team and I want Glade two, three, four, all right. I think he's at close combat, so. Oh, he learned. Oh, uh-oh. Is he double stacking close combat then? Oh, right, he doesn't know that I don't shield. Right, right, right. So we, when we played this matchup last time, uh, he shielded twice. He might be double stacking Leaf Blade. I am going to take a lot of damage from... Okay, good, 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 good. So that means that Frostlass doesn't take, Frostlass only takes one confusion. Perfect. I was really hoping that was not Leaf Blade. Mm. All right, is it Razor Leafer in the back? Is it Razor Leafer in the back? Or is it Noctowl? Let's see if it's Noctowl. Let's switch to Metachan and see if it's Noctowl. You guys, that's why you don't, I don't know, he might not have overtapped, he might have been he might have been one counter short, and that's why I was able to pull the switch. Yes, knock towel in the back. And he just used all his energy. So I think we're looking good here. Frostlass comes in and eats everybody. We do have to make sure. Oh, okay, never mind. We have two shields, actually. Okay. We just have to make sure that we don't get hit by pretty much hit by a charge move because I know he's over farming here and they both have moves that can pretty much one shot us I don't want to risk the over farm because I know that I can just kill this and still beat the uh the other thing even though it has night slash it cannot charge like we already saw and I'm already still energy ahead I have two shields so I'm just gonna go straight shadow ball because why not just to make sure Frostlass, OP. Last time, last time I did this tournament, the shoutcaster slot. I was trying to, I was trying to flex the double shield, but I'm not flexing the double shield. I'm not being an asshat. I'm setting up Frostlass. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm not being an asshat. I'm setting up Frostlass. Big difference. Going back to Glade lead. Go back to Glade lead. Um, if I do this, I lose when he leads Noctowl. Oh, we got the weird glitch. All right, I lose if he leads Noctowl. Um, well, no, I just have to aggressively swap to Frostlass. All right, here's the mirror. This is kind of what I wanted.
Yep, and he's doing the thing where he's going to do this. Yes, so that gives me shield advantage through the lead. Mm -hmm. And then he throws one move at Frostlass. Frostlass shields up, gets energy. There's the first Leaf Blade. Does he get to the second one? No. Perfect. So now we're even shields and I have the energy. Oh, there it is. So for this, you throw immediately and then you expect Noctowl in the back. So Metachan is our ace in the hole here now because Ice Punch. Yep, there's that. And Psychic. And there's the Noctowl. Doing as much damage as we can with Metachan. Seeing, uh, we, we need it at like a, like Gloom's not getting a, Gloom is not getting a charge move off here. Yeah, so basically have to farm it down. Ooh, Interest, interesting. I think that was undercharged. But I think I had more energy than he bargained for, unfortunately, for him. And I kind of thought about letting him farm me down, but I didn't want him to get any more energy. So now it's off to the races. Ooh. Sometimes it really is off to the races. Oh, that was, that was pretty close. That was one tap away. Frostlass, OP. That's kind of why I didn't want to... I, I almost stopped tapping with the Medichan, even though it was at 1 HP and it was going to let him farm me down. But I wasn't sure how much energy he was going to have because I wasn't counting. I normally lead Gallade, but he does have... I mean, Gallade beats everything on his team that isn't the Jiggly, the Wiggly. So we're going to do this. We're gonna do the Frostlass safe swap and try and have, because I don't like when Medichan is, sorry, I don't like when Gallade is not in the lead. And so I'm hoping that he leads Wigglytuff here. Yep, so that's why, that's why we do this. And then Venusaur with energy, much better than a Victory Bell with energy. So we're just gonna throw this at this point. I don't particularly want to shield. I kind of want to just win this. Oh, 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 high game, high game. Hi, okay, thank you. Yeah, when the game freezes like that, it is not good because then you can't tap things. Funny how that works. All right, well, shields are down all around. I mean, might as well, because he if he had only used one shield, I wouldn't, but he's used two. And he you can't have two stacked up, so I can over farm here. Uh, maybe over farm wasn't the play. Maybe that wasn't the play. Do I go for the kill? Uh, uh, I should I should undercharge more. I should undercharge more. Yeah, this is why I should undercharge more. But here we go off to the races. I mean, his loses no matter what. Is he? I have a shield, he doesn't. So I can go straight Shadow Ball, but because I can go straight Shadow Ball, yeah. I have to watch out for the switch here. And that's GG. There's nothing you can throw at me that's going to hurt me. All right. Yeah, saving that one shield was definitely the play. Shield advantage OP. All right, take this. It's not gonna do that much damage, but this will be enough that, well, it doesn't. Ooh, actually, hold up. This might be bad if I lose CMP. Uh, actually, no, never mind, because he has to use energy to kill me. He can't double stack. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're fine. I'm sure I have Shadow Ball ready. I do, but just... 
I don't need to be overkill about it. I was going to think about it, but I did not remember how full of energy I was. All right. Uh, what did we... So we did see the Wigglytuff, and we did scare... I think we scared it away. I think we scared away Wigglytuff. If not, we're going to lose the next round. But I'm going to bet that we scared away Wigglytuff. If I'm wrong, then this round is just over, because I'm playing Gallade into a Wigglytuff team. And he did... He tried to pick something that could beat G-Fisk. And I did not bring it, so I think we're fine to keep this going this way. I could try and blind swap into Venusaur, actually. Alright, Gallade. Dang it! Really? You really did that two times in a row? To think I wasn't going to lead G-Fisk? I should have led G-Fisk. Smart player would have led G-Fisk. But clearly I'm not a smart player. This is bad for my team. Because I don't actually have anything that can fight this. Except for Venusaur chunking it away. Several schools of thought on this shield. My school of thought is I win CMP. And he's trying to farm down. I was actually one short, so if he had double sh doubled up, okay. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. All right, this is actually really good for us because that thing is full of energy and it is dead. He doesn't have any shields left, right? Oh, no, he did? What? Oh, he double shielded it. All right, so I saw Bulldoze and Ice Punch. I'm going to see if I can take a hit with Frostlass, because it doesn't have Gyro Ball. If it has Gyro Ball, then I don't know what happened. Yeah, there it is. All right. This is... I'm pretty sure this is a Mud Bomb. Wait, what? What? How? That was, was that really eight? Was that really eight full? I did not think that was eight. All right. Let's see how long we can last against Charm now. I mean, did I call it? If I led, <laughs> if I led into Wigglytuff, we lose. All right. So I've led Venusaur and I've led Gallade. So there's no way that G fit, not G, what am I talking about? Yeah, all right. That is the trouble with with the Gallade and the Charmers, is that you make the bet and you lose. So Medichan comes back and G-Fisk leaves. So if I go back to Venusaur and he goes to, my first leave is, so it is Gallade. So he had Charm, dun, 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 boom, boom, boom. Let's try this. If he goes for... Because he hasn't seen G-Fisk at all. I haven't used it at all. So I'm hoping I've scared away anything that he could use to try and counter G-Fisk directly like that. Generally, I would not say lead with G-Fisk, but it's kind of like a game three, like out of the blue kind of play. All right. This was the one that I was okay with leading into. Out of all the things on his... Out of all the, like, counters on his team. This is the one I'm okay with leading into. I know I didn't charge up all the way. I just want to see what he does here. Alright, he blocks. He can't one-shot me with Bulldoze, right? Like, that's, that, that, if it one-shots and I just have... Because I've never played this matchup. If this one-shots... Oh. I'll take the shield advantage. Unless he's... I feel like he shields this, right? Oh, never mind. Um, I see no need in keeping this. That means he has Frostlass in the back. 
the a slash has a uh, uh, bulldoze which defense has to look out for that's the issue here boom uh wiggly tough in the back perfect let's see when he wants to shoot i feel like he shields the second one and so that's why i'm throwing this yep shields the second one all right ggs I probably could tap down because I have two shields, but just to be safe, I'm going to double charge and throw both of them. Just to be safe, you can't you can't be too careful with mud boys. I'd be in a lot of trouble if it was a what was the other one? The Quagsire would be an issue if I miscounted Quagsire's energy. Yeah, he's just it's not worth shielding. I didn't know if he was going to shield it or not. All right, so I have to lead Gallade. We're going to try Glade with, yeah, let's try this without, let's try without Frostlass. Although I definitely lose, hold up, I definitely lose if I don't actually, if he has a Glade in the back. So let's hope he doesn't store a Glade in the back and then just like save shields. And then he just has Noctowl instead of my... Yep, the Glade Mirror. So we play this out as we know. I should have brought Frostlass. Okay, so we lose CMP. If this, I, this is like the game's pretty much over if I know that we lose CMP. If he plays it like this. All right, let's see. Let's see if he wants to shield or not. Perfect. That ended perfectly. Alright, his Glade is down, so there's a good chance my G-Fisk is okay here, but also, so is Swampert. Nope. Alright, so we literally just lose the game to Rock, Paper, Scissors here. Although it's only, it's only Rock, Paper. There's no Scissors. The Glades both kill each other. Dear Lord, there's no way to win. All right, it's literally not even worth trying to shield my Swampert. Like there's nothing it can do because one earthquake doesn't take down. Like one earthquake is not gonna even take down this, this Venusaur. And I don't have Sludge Wave, so. GG's. You outpicked me. You had a better pick than I did. That's ridiculous. It wasn't quite rock, paper, scissors. It was rock versus rock. And then the paper, scissors happened in the back. Ooh, a charge team. I'll take that though. All right, this time let's try and win. I guess that means I have to bring Frostlass. There we go. So I have to lead Gallade again. Let's just bring Frostlass in. Do I bring my Metachan? His Metachan is going to win CMP because it's a level up. It has a, at least, a, it's either best buddy or a few levels up. But Metachan does actually kind of look good. Metachan might be good as a safe swap here. And then I switched. If he leads, he leads Noctowl and I lose. Oh, Fro I would rather this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have Frostless on my team this time, so this could actually work really well. Like he knows this is Leaf Blade, but does he shield? Okay, he does. And then I'm just gonna take this and see what happens. Because I have shield advantage and I wanna just run wild with that on my Frost Lass. All 
I think Avalanche is probably enough to kill here. Oh. All right. All right, let's see how many shields I accidentally end up having to invest here. Oh, I won CMP. All right, this is really good for us, actually. Unless he was expecting me, he could have been expecting me to try and go for a farm down. I even over farmed. I even over farmed. I, I was waiting for the swap and I over farmed. This is gonna be close, unfortunately. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna shield that, so. If this is Psychic, he doesn't have any energy at least, and then I think I can win CMP on Venusaur. Oh good, it's Ice Punch. So I do this. All right, give me Venusaur. How much energy can I get to Psychic? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, his only play was to see if he could farm me down before I got a sidekick. All right, one to one. Can I pull off another another win? Can I pull off another first place for this cup? It's going to be close. One to one. I don't like this. He has to bring Noctowl, right? All right. I am making a big risk trying to run this g-fisk this is a big risk that he doesn't have ah. all right glade mirror again exact same game plays out One HP, yep. I get this Leaf Blade. His will live a little longer, but we're both gonna die to Confusion next, so doesn't matter. Oh, he's gonna do a shield this time. All right, time to just shield like there's no tomorrow. Farm this all the way down. Shields are still all going to Frostlass because she is loaded and he has Venusaur Glades at 1 HP. So he's going to use Glade as a safe spot. Ooh, I would not have done. I think, I think you wanted to go Avalanche, sir. Thing is, does he let this go and try and force Venusaur into the win? avalanching just to see if he lets it go yes all right so what's in the back what's in the back that's gonna kill me it's gonna take frost last he doesn't have razor leaf I kind of thought he was going to... Nope. He was too early. He was too early. Oh, GG's! All right. That's yeah, that's three times in a row I won this tournament. Whew. GG's, my dude. 
Oh man, that was really close. Okay.